Welcome back everyone! Today is a game time for a challenge. In a second I'm going to show you the rules and my take on it. But first I want to showcase your beautiful artwork that you did for the past month and the theme for the past month was a crowd and the color that I chose for you was white. I just chose one and it was up to you to choose the second one. So let's see! As always guys, you did an amazing job and keep up the good work as always and I can't wait to see all of your beautiful artwork for this uh, month challenge. So guys, let's fire it up! Hey guys, the challenge rules are simple. I give you a prompt and just two colors to work with. You can blend the two colors together, make them lighter or darker with white and black, and you can, me you can use any media you like, no pressure at all, just be creative and have fun. If you don't like something, just change it. <laughs> you can post your work on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag PranChallenge. You can do a response video on YouTube using my hashtag, or also we have a special section in Discord and you can access my Discord through my Twitch channel. As always, you can find all the details down below in the description. Guys, if you submit your work before the 1st of June, I'm going to feature your artwork uh, in my next prompt challenge video. The prompt for today was villain. So recently I started watching a lot of uh, TV series with superheroes, you know, Disney Plus, not sponsored, but <laughs> um, I was really inspired by the most famous superheroes and I want to do my take on it because, you know, everyone wants to be some sort of cool superheroes or cool villain, so I wanted to, to design my own. And the colors that I pick randomly were ultramarine and rose meadow. So let's see what we came out with today and enjoy! So the theme for today was uh, villain and I started drawing myself and uh, you know this is something that is actually pretty common for me to portray myself as, as something. I really, really love doing some sort of uh, cosplaying thingies and uh, stuff like that. So I started with myself, uh, my small avatar, and I wanted to have like a powerful stance where I was basically going to cast the magic. And yeah, I wanted to be the villain because it's, <laughs> it's a fun argument, a, a fun theme and uh, I hope you appreciate anyway. In the background on the right, I quickly sketched uh, my my husband <laughs> from you that uh, is is approaching and is basically the superhero of my illustration. Also, I wanted to do something funny and uh, I did a small moon on the top left that have all the eyes too. And uh, what I did right now, um, I started a roughly sketch uh, on top with my, my ink pen. Um, I wanted to have some sort of comic, Marvel comic feeling. And uh, I started doing some, some very light line art. Then I'm going to go in with my ink pen because I wanted to make some line bolder. So it was a slightly longer process right now with the inking process because I wanted to be like very uh, like very much refer to comic kind of art style so very bold lines I'm, like I don't feel like I did a great job because in my brain I wanted to do something slightly different but I wanted to very much push the, the black part of the illustration and make it like very dramatic 
Also, I did some sort of effects where I did the, um, the magic and I did some sort of halo around my hands. And uh, also, I did some movement with uh, the, the foreground and to like to give you the idea that something magical is happening i'm not gonna lie i was very much inspired by Scar scarlet witch with this illustration i wanted to portray myself as scarlet witch and because i was watching the the new tv series well wandavision so um yeah that that was my process that was my my idea behind this so um, uh, what what I actually did was to make it more dramatic with uh, the very intense black. So I went in with my brush, um, my my ink brush, the one that I use. If you want any, um, if you want to check in the description, I have every detail there. Uh, what kind of media I'm using right now? I usually use uh, Pentel and Kuretake, but you can see everything in the description. And yeah, I I wanted to say that I tried to do some sort of comic effects with the uh, with the um, hatching, and I'm slightly happy with it. So right now I'm going to select the colors for the challenge, and I usually do the sketch before selecting the colors. I think like it challenged me a, a little bit more, and it's funny to do it like this because I'm going to surprise myself with the final result, basically. So I'm going to select the rose matter right now. This is the Kuratake set for the watercolor, and this is number 34. And the second one is ultramarine blue, uh, that is number 64. Uh, I have to be honest, I do not like that much the ultramarine color. I feel like it was very weak. I wanted to have a very intense color, but I feel like um, I feel like this Kuretake set, my personal opinion, but I feel like this Kuretake set is not consistent in the pigmentation. I also have a Winsor & Newton watercolor set and I feel like it's slightly better. So I don't feel like it's 100% professional. It looks a little bit more as gouache instead of watercolor from time to time. But because I have a lot of colors and because it was my some sort of like starting ground for my watercolor skills, I I'm still using this, but probably I'm going to invest in something a little bit more um, expensive in the future, I guess because you can actually see the difference between the professional colors and student kind of colors and um, beginner colors. So yeah, what I wanted to do was to use the, to blend the uh, ultramarine and the rose matter together and make some sort of purple. And I wanted to, to like my magic to be purple or rose or red, if you want to describe it like that, because I want it to be very intense and very, I, I can say emotional, I can say like very dramatic and uh, I want it to be the red, I want it to be the, the guest star. Um, it's very powerful as a color, it gives you a lot of emotions, it gives you a lot of uh, drama, so that was my idea. And for the background I wanted to have some sort of a, um, let's say a night. Uh, kind of um, yeah um, yeah it's it's basically night as you can see there is the moon <laughs> and it's basically night outside and I feel like it's more interesting it's more uh, intense like this because it's kind of like dark and scary in a way but still funny because I, I don't feel like I can do actually very much scary stuff but yeah as I, as I said, I wanted to have some sort of drama in this illustration, and I feel like uh, the colors helped me, helped me in this uh, in this case. So I was pretty lucky with this uh, color pick. And uh, yeah, uh, I pretty much said everything that I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the illustration, and see you in a bit.
So yeah, this is the final illustration and um, probably, as I said, probably the blue is not that great as pigmentations, like speaking about pigmentations, but I'm very happy with this. So this is the finished illustration. I really like it. I don't know what you were expecting, but I was totally expecting for me to be the villain. So I don't know about you, but it's totally up to you now, guys. <laughs> and um, I wanted to say, if you want to write a comment down below or give me a suggestion for the prompt or the color, you are more than welcome. Also, if you want to support me, it's very very easy you just have to subscribe to the channel and drop a like it will be very much appreciated thank you so much and guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video and as always don't forget just be creative and have fun and until next time bye bye